Hello everyone, I'm Jay. I'm Val. And today, we're gonna start a new series called Our Quest to Find 366 Hidden Gems in the St. Louis metro area, one neighborhood at a time, from A to Z. So Val, why are we doing this quest? So for Christmas, I bought Jay a book called STL Scavenger. And it gives you 17 different neighborhoods in the metro area to go and find Different landmarks. Like different landmarks. It gives you clues. It gives you pictures and gives you like a four sentence clue. And you have to find the landmarks. Yeah, you have to figure out the clue, find the landmark. And the whole thing was made by a tour guide here in St. Louis. And what was her name? D. Hoover. D. Hoover. And she thought, you know what? I'll do this scavenger hunt for all of these different neighborhoods. And that would give people a way to learn about St. Louis in a fun way. So, come along with us as we Jay and Val around our first town in the scavenger hunt, Alton, Illinois. Okay, so Val, it's time to start this scavenger hunt and find our first hidden gem here in Alton, Illinois, which is our first town slash neighborhood. What's the clue? So the first clue reads, a writer believes slavery wasn't right. His office is vandalized in the dark of night. pro slavers tossed his printing presses in the river twice. Thrice attacked, he paid the ultimate price. Okay, so, some of these clues are easy and some of these clues you're going to have to look up and find out some of the history here. And what have we come up with? So we came up with Elijah Lovejoy was his name. I do believe there's a monument here in the Alton area. Now we just have to find it. All right. Well, let's give this a shot and try to find Elijah Lovejoy's monument. So we found our first hidden gem. It's the Lovejoy Monument, and this thing is tall. You've got to check it out. It is beautiful. All right, so we're heading into the monument. This is really cool. First off, it's always cool to have clues and then find the place that you're looking for, right? Figuring it out. And it, I'm not gonna lie, all of these clues are not easy. So if you need to use your phone, you should. You should definitely use your phone and figure it out because we're gonna do that as well. So Elisha Lovejoy was an editor for the Alton Observer, and he was actually killed for writing what he believed in. He was against slavery, and he had many presses that were taken and thrown down into the river, and his fourth press that he had delivered was in hiding. They came, and they burned the building down and shot him, and that's how he was killed in 1937. He was actually believed to be the first casualty of the Civil War because of it. Okay, so our second clue for our second landmark, it says, come on down, 
where water falls and rises, safely guiding boats of all shapes and sizes. Eight stories up offers a bird's eye view. Go in the winter to see eagles too. So let's get back in the car. Let's figure out our next clue and our next landmark and we'll head there. So we figured out clue number two and we're at the next landmark. It's right behind me. It's the Melvin Price Locks and Dam. And it's one of the largest locks on the Mississippi River. You can go up eight stories into the dam and take a tour. And they also have the National Great Rivers Museum. And you can go in there and check out all of the wildlife that's all around this area. So clue number three, am I a bird? Am I a dragon? No, neither. I'm a lion eye, mythological creature. Once destroyed was the first petroglyph, but immortalized again on the cliff. Jay, do you have any clue? Yeah, I have, I have an answer for that one. That is the Piasa bird which is considered a cryptid and that's one of my uh, my new interests so let's go into the car let's find that cliff let's go so we figured out clue number three and the landmark is the piazza it means the bird that devoured men and there's the piazza right there on the cliff and it was a painting that a couple of French explorers found. And this was the description of what they found. They thought it might be a couple of water monsters. Okay, so here's clue number four. At the number one bar in the world, self-proclaimed, over 80 years, people have been entertained. He covered the street like a dome, but it's 21 plus, leave the kiddos at home. Val and I know this place. It's one of our favorite places when we come to Alton, and it's called Fast Eddie's. Let's jump in the car and head over to Fast Eddie's. So we figured out clue number four, and here's the landmark. Fast Eddie's Bonaire. This is one of the oldest bars here in Alton, Illinois. It's got the coldest beer, peel and eat shrimp, big Elwoods on a stick, live music, and they were so popular that they actually bought a whole street so that they could expand and take over the whole block. Okay, so on to clue number five for the next landmark. It reads, maybe that sound was clucking you heard, the Striven is famous for its giant bird. Decked out in a tux and a hat but no cane, the food is so good you'll be back again. Not real sure on this one, but I think we've figured it out. Let's go check it out. So we figured out clue number five. And the landmark is right behind me. This one was a little tough one for us because we didn't even know it existed. 
It's Fast Eddie's Fried Chicken. The prices look phenomenal, and I was really in the mood for chicken, but they're closed on Sundays. Okay, so we're on to clue number six. And it says, designed by the architect of St. Louis Station, the stained glass windows have no imitation. The congregation first, though the building third. With luck today, the pipe organ may be heard. Do we have any ideas, Val? I know it's a Catholic church, but I don't know which one. All right, well, let's get back in the car. Let's figure out what our next landmark is, and let's go. So we figured out clue number six, and I have to tell you, it was a tough one. We actually went to a couple of other locations before we actually found the landmark, which is right behind me, the first Presbyterian church. In 1836, it was actually founded by freed slaves. And one of the founders, his name was John Anderson, and he was a pressman for Elijah Lovejoy at the Alton Times. Okay, so we're on to clue number seven, and we've got to find the landmark for this. So this is the clue. I look a kind to a castle of stone, Elliot, my founder, a preacher well known. Not just by locals who pray there the most, but also those seeking the hang pastor's ghost. Well, I already know what this one is because we've been there a few times. It's the First Unitarian Church. Alrighty, so we'll jump in our car and we'll head on over there. But one little fun fact is you are all about spooky and you listen to those spooky podcasts. So you kind of know a little bit about this particular church, right? Yes, actually I do, and we've actually been there a few times. Very cool. And I also noticed that the wind whipped up when you were talking about this particular <laughs> church. Don't know if that's a sign. Let's go find it. So we figured out clue number seven, and the landmark is right behind me. It's the First Unitarian Church. And all I can say is we've been here a few times, and I've had a couple of really cool paranormal things happen to me inside. So we're on to clue number eight, and what it says is, For over a century I have stood strong, welcoming guests with theater and song. I've been made new after years of rejection. You can see my name from any direction. Now obviously we know it's a theater somewhere, but I have no clue where this building is. So let's jump in the car, figure it out, and head over to the next landmark. So we figured out clue number eight, and the landmark is right behind me. It's the Grand Theater. In 1920, this was the biggest theater in Alton. It actually held about 1,400 people. And later on, in the recent times, they made it into a haunted attraction for one year. Now they're trying to restore it again and bring it back to its theater glory. Okay, so we're on to clue number nine. And this is what it says. Life-size dollhouse built for Lucy's birthday. It mirrored her home in every way. Sadly, she died and since it brought such joy, mom gave it to share with others in Illinois. So I am not sure about this one at all. So we gotta go find this landmark. 
Let's go find it. Yep, let's head out. So we figured out clue number nine, and the landmark is behind me. It's the Lucy Haskell Playhouse. It was built in 1885 for Lucy Haskell. She was only five years old when it first got built. She got to play in it until she was about nine years old before she passed away. And then at that time, after her mom passed away, they actually donated it to the city of Alton so other kids could enjoy it. Could you imagine having a playhouse like this? This is every girl's dream. All right, so now we're up to clue number 10. Halfway, woohoo! My goodness. So, the clue is, history was made here in 1858. Alton held this famous senatorial debate. Though Abe didn't win the statewide election, the country survived under his steadfast direction. So, I think we know where this one is. There is a statue and monument for Abe Lincoln. So let's get in the car, head on over there, and hopefully we're right. All right, so we figured out clue number 10, and it brought us to this landmark right behind us. It's a statue of Stephen Douglas and a statue of Abraham Lincoln, and it represents October 15, 1958, when Abraham Lincoln actually challenged Douglas to a debate for the Senate in Illinois. Well, Abraham Lincoln, he lost that debate, but two years later got Douglas back by winning the presidential election. 